Once, my sisters and I spread our roots together, flowering life on this land. But those days have shriveled away. While hatred and death filled their absence. To recover all that withered. Myriads of sacrifices were needed. Yet, you foolishly fallen prey to sweet whispers and willingly offered nourishment. Your devotion, however insignificant, pleases me. From the blood and body of your kin. I am reborn. Dreadful rumors coming from even the furthest of reaches. But thankfully, our forest is peaceful. Good work finishing your daily forest patrol. It's an unappreciated job, but important nonetheless. I believe you'll one day become a great elf like Gillian. Maybe you'll even get to wield a bow at his service. Huh? But... Oh, is it finally that day? <laughs> blood on the wind. There must have been a fight somewhere. Let's go find out. It's nearby. Smell the fresh blood. There's someone on the ground. Someone's still alive. Let's go help. Wait! Watch out! You shot those arrows. <laughs> Wake up. Are you all right? Uh, uh, sp spirit ambush. <laughs> Speak slowly. What happened? You, <laughs> filthy follower. <laughs> oh my, the poor elf died. How unfortunate. Let's go. I'll give you a hand. Now you'll feel light on your feet. Corpus est a mutus hesto. Can you hear the sound? The sweet whisper. Look at all these bodies. They died miserably. These elves died because they were unable to flee. This is what happens to the unchosen. Let's cross the bridge and go over the hill. The village looks perfectly fine, but I wonder if my eyes deceive me. <laughs> the hill over there. The whispers are calling us. But how about we get rid of some of these nuisances first? I mean, those who are blocking the path. Drinking up the blood. This streaming blood will be her nectar.
Something's not right. This is an illusion. The whole forest is dead. Am I too late? No. The child's light still lingers. It will be all right. <sighs> the death aura. It strained the life out of the Earth. It would be difficult to expect her safety in this situation. I can't even hear the spirit's screams. This is terrible. The only ones moving are monsters. Tree roots are also blocking the path here. There has to be a core near- All right, the path should open now. If we had gotten here sooner, could we have saved them all? Wash away sins. May their souls be saved. Forgiveness can be asked for, but souls cannot be saved. Ears deafened. Eyes blinded. The foolish. Deceived by a treacherous tongue. Walk the path of sin. Only to atone. Forevermore. You're awake. Come here. Thank you for being alive. Your wounds have healed too. But the scar on your soul won't disappear. I kept you in the forest thinking it would be safe. I never thought you'd be attacked there. It's unfortunate. You were enticed by spirits' whispers. You thought you were fighting monsters that had invaded the village. But what you killed weren't monsters. They were our own kin, fleeing in fear. That's why you can't stay here. You must wash away the blood of your kin that has stained your soul. I'm sending you to the human realm. There you can wash away your sins. A land where the sagas of bygone heroes began. A faraway place that still bears dreams and romance. Go to the Talking Isle. Spirit's roots have yet to reach that place. You'll be safe there. Meet Alfred when you arrive at the island. He is a wise man who can guide your path. The sins that taint your soul can be cleansed as you wander the world. Afterwards, 
you'll be able to return to the forest. I don't know when that time will come, but I believe it will be soon. May the mother of forests and elves bless you. I will pray for the spilled blood of your kin to wash away and for the wounds of your soul to be healed in the outer world.